Yeah, what's happening, guys? Um, got no air. Nah, just shaved my hair off, and it was quite liberating. Um, anyway. Merry Christmas. What's happening, everybody? Happy Sunday. Um, going to be recording, well, going to be recording the um, Terry Hall tribute today, um, which will be going out tomorrow, which will be a year um, since he passed away. Um, also going to try and squeeze in the lithium, all the lithium battery people. It is coming. Um, got a lot going on, but yeah, still got to do that. But obviously, the Terry Hall things come in front of that. Um, yeah. Anyway, got no hair though. Shaved all my hair off. So it feels nice and cool with no hair. I've got my hat ready though. Um, just about to try and frame up my beat. Um, I've got an original beat poster, guys. Um, I'll show you anyway, once I've done it. Um, where's my energy drink? London next week. Can't believe I'm going to see the beat again. Um... Exactly to the year. Um, and I've looked at the beat schedules throughout the years. The always finish in London. So there you go. New Cross, guys, I've got to go to. Which is in South East London, I believe. Um, which is the first bit of London I'm going to come across. But, um, yeah. Which is quite strange, because when I went last year to the Rankin Roger Memorial concert, that was in Roger's own sort of town, um, in Birmingham, I went up there and stayed for about four or five days. Um, got there early, went to the record shops and that. Um, but obviously this time, I haven't got to travel to Birmingham. Um, in fact, I'll probably be there. We've been about 40 minutes, 30 minutes, um, yeah. So I've got these nice smelling Yankee candles, vanilla. Just want to eat them, but I wouldn't advise it though. But. Anyway, guys, hope everybody's all set and ready for Christmas. Um, this is looking like probably the best Christmas I've had for years, man. In fact, I'm shocking myself with my positivity. Um, it's crazy. But yeah. Probably be decorating Christmas Day and making YouTube videos now. I've got some good videos to make. Um, you're going to see some good videos from the beat. What I'll do next week is I'll, I'll record a bit and bang it straight up. Um, but yeah, it's amazing. Um, I don't know what well, I presume it's the same sort of crowd I was, I was blown away in Birmingham um, I've never seen so many rude boys and girls still out there running about and, and the young lot coming up man crazy because I'll, I'll always remember last year I come out of that beat concert I don't know and I come out I was talking to some lads walking down the road um, must have been about half twelve and there was this pub man all I could hear was dawning of a new era by the specials booming out I should have gone in there really um, but yeah but yeah new cross this time mingling with all them London people Different breed, man, they are to me. Um, it's all good, though. Um, yeah. Christmas, eh? 
Oh, nearly dropped me lighter right in my hot chocolate. In fact, where's my petrol lighter? So I'm, so I'm working, doing woodwork again. Um, got to make some table legs. Do -do -do. Wiring up the mixer later. Getting in the mix for the specials. Got a few little surprises uh, during the Terry Hall show. Uh, the Terry Hall show, look. Yeah, I'll probably do an hour, an hour and a half. Um, because I remember last year, got some good hits on the ter Terry Hall stuff. Um, where's my own aftershave? Bang it on the head. No. It's nice to have some air. My bro one of my brothers is bald as that. But I'm not. I've got loads of curly hair, man. If I care to grow it, I had long blonde hair as a kid. Um, mother's favourite child. Uh, it's probably looking down at me now, thinking, "Fucking hell, are you still there?" Oh, man, <laughs> I'm still here. 52 years, man. 53 years next year. Wow. It's quite mad, really, when I think about it. Like, I learned to walk in here. I learned to talk in here. I learned like, everything in here. Um, it's mad when I think back, when there was me mum and dad in here and... Me and me two brothers and me two sisters. It was like a busy house, do you know what I mean? Proper noisy house. In the 70s when I grew up. But it was different times, wasn't it? Do you know what I mean? No one gave a fuck. Um, our village sort of had a proper community then. We've got like a pretend community now, where people pretend to like each other but really they don't but <laughs> who gives a fuck um someone was telling me to fuck off i'll tell them to fuck off it's as simple as that but yeah back in the early well you, you prob people are probably understanding what i'm saying people my age and older there was more of a community spirit back in the day and it all revolved sort of revolved around the pub man because that's where everyone's dad went um and now look at it, the pubs, just dead, man. You wouldn't think these little villages that, that like I come from in the countryside, you used to have to fight to get to the bar. We had a right pumping village nightlife, man. Now it's just dead. Um, but in saying that, in the 70s, it, it was quite violent and... Um, in the 80s, into the 80s, um, and then when I left, sort of kind of left school, um, I had one sort of set of friends that were sort of going to football and fighting and doing all mad stuff. That didn't really appeal to me. And then I had another set of friends who was taking acid and whiz and going out to these mad parties. That, that appealed to me, <laughs> basically. So I went into that sort of scene. Um, yeah, and all you kids out there today that go out there partying all night long, it's because me and my generation, why you can party all night long, man. Do you know that? It's true, true that, people. We broke down the doors so these kids could party all night long. Because um, we wasn't allowed, man. Or we, I used to say to my dad, all we're doing is... Like, fucking... Like he knew we was all getting stunned and that were all, all that my old man did because I always told him what the crack was. I said, we're just listening to records, man. And my old man was a teddy boy, so he kind of got the drift um, of, of, of cultures and things. Um, crazy.
Mm. Nära. Och det är samma lav nu det är Och det är mig pills. Again. <laughs> Crazy. <clears throat> All them years gone by, man. All them dead bodies out there, man. All my pals are dead. Fucking. I must have done something, right? I must have, you know what I mean? I must have done something, right? I'm still here. And to be honest with you, I'm a lot, a lot fitter than all my pals. Um, but it's probably due to me ADHD in that, though. <clears throat> was been quite sp sporty as well. Did boxing, running, football. I've got, in fact, I've got a picture downstairs. My dad used to run and sort of own the local boxing club um, down the road here. And I've got a picture of me when I was a young'un. All, all the boxers out the front of the uh, church. Um, yeah. My dad's in that too. I'll show you that later. Anyway, what we've done here? Ten minutes. So I'm getting getting somewhere with the house now. I'm just moving on the carpets. I've got carpets all ready to go, you see. I've got, I'll show you some of these things I've got. Mats and carpets and things. Put some in here. I've uh, had to start putting things in the studio till I've decorated all this and then I can come out and I'll finish, finish the studio. But otherwise I just run out of places to put stuff. I've got so much shit. But, uh, yeah, hang on, I'll spin the camera around. It's one of my uh, carpets. I've got these little mats as well. A few more of these. D -d 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 Different colours, though, look. As well. More carpet there. Uh, something there. It's all go, man. I don't think I've put any carpet down yet, I don't know, until I finished. Um, the joys of having a three bedroom house. Right, let's, uh, oh, I found my isopropyl alcohol as well, behind this sofa where the carpets were. I've been looking for this for ages. Uh, isopropyl alcohol, boom. Tidy up there a little bit. All these lift got the lifting battery thing coming later still. I'll try and squeeze that in today. Um. Mm. Stanley Blade. Like records everywhere now. So I'm starting up this. The Cure album there. <clears throat> well, I bought myself a real crazy present that's not here yet. I've treated myself for Christmas, guys. I won't say what it is yet. It's going to be a game changer for the channel. We're taking, we're taking the specials and Gangsters O'Clock out on the road. I'm going to say no more, but yeah. Next year, we're going out, man. We have Gangsters O'Clock, man. You might have seen it on the... Where I'll just go Gangsters O'Clock, boom, and play Gangsters, whatever version. I'm going to be taking the Gangsters out on the road. Trust me. Uh, you wait till you see what's coming. I went... Took the plunge the other night. Went, boom! I, I see it for the cheapest I've seen it. To be honest with you. Half price, basically. I thought... I thought I can't sit on I can't sit here and wait for that to go back up, so boom. Straight in. But yeah. <clears throat> Looking forward to it. Do 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 So I'm just gonna light light my candles up. Let me spliff. Spliff first.
lovely vanilla smell. Checking out the weather, overcast. Overcast and gloomy. In fact, the uh, land around here is quite saturated. Um, people don't realise, but up the top there, they built, built, built these houses that are on floodplains. And I keep checking where the levels are going up. Um, obviously, living here all my life, I know certain things. But yeah, a little bit more rain, they'd be fucked. Um, why people? Well, I don't know. I, I thought if you was to develop a flood on a floodplain, you'd have to tell that being your deed somewhere in your house. You'd think, wouldn't you? Maybe to keep it quiet. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, crazy, crazy. Um, well, it's money, isn't it? Money talks. So greedy bastards. That's what it is. Um, all these developers around here. Coming on in, forcing all the locals out, man. Because the locals can't afford it. I'm lucky. I'm quite privileged to be in a position I'm in, do you know what I mean? <clears throat> but then I always knew that anyway. Look, When I was looking after my dad. Like I said, last one out in the womb, shut the door. Um, anyway, guys, I'm going to stitch these together. Watch out for the videos.